to run this machine. First of all, you need to establish the water supply. Here on the right hand side, you've got water in. And here's at the bottom of the diesel separation column, here's a water out. Just notice that all drain valves are open right now. Why I do it? I just run in water through the machine and making sure that nothing is leaking. There's no water leakage anywhere, so everything's fine. And I can shut the valves and I may start priming the machine with a mix. In ideal condition, this column should be filled completely until it starts to flow from this nozzle with clean diesel fuel. Right now I don't have ready diesel fuel. I'm gonna do uh, priming with some mix and then I probably will not discard but reuse first couple of liters of uh, diesel that uh, will flow out of the column. I will collect all the petrol because there's no petrol within the system at all right now. Now, what is going? So, once water is flowing, I may need to start priming the machine. And before that, I need to shut all the valves. This one and this one, otherwise, everything will flow on the floor. The next step is to start the pump and start priming the steel. Okay, we've got 40 liters of mix and here's a pump that's pumping everything into the steel pump it up until it starts to flow from this particular nozzle from this tube it's a diesel outlet so we running the fuel into the machine still priming until it starts to flow from this particular tube so we need to fill up the machine completely now it started to flow the next step is shut the valve now valve is shut and it's time to connect the machine to the power supply power supply is on 15 degrees outside 15 degrees celsius and it's set at 160 that's connected Now everything's connected and we can ob observe the increase of the temperature within the reactor. Our next step would be to wait until the machine gains approximately 110 degrees and at that moment we can start to open the valve the control valve slowly this one and at the same time observing the temperature making sure that it's not sagging down but uh, still be steadily but very slow climbing climbing up to 160 and then the regulator would do the job switch and switch switch on and switch off the heating elements and keep it at 160 at the same time we can try to increase the flow a little bit by making sure that we supply the maximum possible amount to, to the machine to take the advantage of the complete and fast separation of the fuel so this particular unit should be capable to process up to 60 liters of mi mix per hour now it's 9900 so it's almost time to start we can touch the column and see if it's getting hot but be careful though yeah the column is getting hot so that's mean the vapors are climbing up the column still cold over there yet but it's already warm here so the petrol and then it's here and it flows down already I will increase the operational temperature to 190 we'll open up the valve
just tighten gaskets when it's getting hot. I've got a couple of drops of diesel over here now it smokes. So now we've got production of petrol. I just decreased the temperature again, now it's 158. And now we can take the sample, just tighten the connection once the gasket gets hot. Now there's no smoking, no nothing, everything is fine and I would like to take some sample and show you the sample of the petrol that we're getting from the machine. The first sample was a little bit yellowish due to first run of the machine. Now it's transparent. And we'll try to measure. It's not even flowing, it's going down and it's showing 90, 98 octane right now. Now we're gonna check the diesel fuel. The fuel is still hot and we need to check its viscosity at 20 degrees Celsius but at right now it's about 35 degrees so we'll wait until it's getting cooler and then we check the measurement. Now the machine is cycling at 144 but conversion is fine probably we need would need to increase the temperature so now it's just I'm trying to adjust the still together with uh, power supply so to make sure that this particular power supply gonna work properly possibly need to increase maybe not so it's just fluctuating within few degrees I believe should be fine as long as diesel doesn't show any signs of petrol in it everything should be fine so and petrol is absolutely transparent quite good and it shows good correct viscosity it's really thin yeah, so it's fluctuates a little bit up and down should be fine Possibly may increase the supply flow a little bit. Now it sounds like we found an equilibrium between supply and temperature controller. The temperature control is still run away a little bit, so it's better rather than it would sag. Yeah, it's working just within a few degrees, around 160 set degrees. And we've got steady production of petrol. And steady production of diesel. Yes, steady production of diesel fuel. 
and this is the normal fuel from the petrol station just accidentally been mixed so this diesel absolutely good for any type of diesel engine including common rail one so it's a petrol production separation of petrol Now I'm gonna take digital thermometer and check the temperature of the diesel. Now we've got it at 44 degrees, 45 almost. So we'll wait until it's 20 degrees Celsius and check the viscosity of the fuel. By now I may remove it and put it somewhere under the cover, under the roof because there's a rain outside. Here's a petrol separation steady flow steady good flow and controller cycling around 160 degrees Celsius may increase the flow a little bit again because it sounds like it's a little bit running away it's sort of inertia to keep it within so I'll inc increase the flow keep this thing handy all the time just carry on the distillation and it's New Zealand weather is unpredictable I just need to test this machine anyway despite of rain <laughs> so I just cover it up on top a little bit so it's definitely gonna be wet but it's hot it's temperature 155 160 So our petrol and our diesel. Now we've got almost 20 degrees, it's 22, like 21.9. Finish the distillation before the complete processing of the fuel, of the mix I've got. Uh, machines working absolutely perfectly without any hiccups. So nothing is seeping from anywhere, no, no water leakages, no fuel leakage, it's good, yeah, it's wet, I stopped the distillation, I don't want to risk it. To shut the machine down, all you need to do is switch off the electricity supply first of all, then shut supply of the fuel and approximately in 5 minutes shut the water. And this is it.